What's going on YouTube? Run Good here coming back at you and as promised today we have a full 2021 Donruss Optic Cello Box. 12 total cello packs in this that we're going to rip today. Uh, now, for you long time Run Good subscribers, you might remember back last February on the channel, I think I did a full series where I ripped 90 total cello packs over the course of a week. And this year we're only doing 12, um, but man, I was just kind of reminiscent on some of those times where we would spend an entire week on one configuration of a product and how much different the channel is now and how much I like to keep the content different and do, do a different product every day. But I was just remembering those crazy times last year when I ripped 90 of these. Um, so going to be optic. Uh, I'm on a quest to do every single optic configuration on the channel. I think I only have a couple left and that might be optic choice and also the optic retail box which just recently came out um so i was a fortunate i was fortunate enough to pick one of these up during the target.com restock last week i was able to get it in my cart and check out the previous week uh, i was not able to um so i am grateful that i am only in for 183 dollars i believe for all 12 of these uh this is going to be actually a pretty long video so uh, stick tight. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button too. I'd love to have you stick around. Um, so with the cellos, we are going to get 15 cards total. We get a 12 card pack and then a three card blue velocity pack. Nothing has changed from last year. Also, nothing that has changed from last year is we do have a chance to get pinks numbered to 25 and oranges numbered to 39 out of cello pack. So if you are hunting for some numbered cards out of retail optic, you're going to want to avoid the mega boxes and you're going to want to either go lime green or gold chasing with the blasters, uh, lime greens to 149, golds to 10, or with the cello packs, you can hit the oranges and pinks. Last year, I hit a Luca pink base number to 25. I'm going to go ahead and rip these wrappers off really quick and I will catch y'all in a minute. All right, so there we go. 12 12 card packs, 12 three card blue velocities. We're just going to go one and one. I know some people like to do all the blue velocities first. Some people like to do them last. We're just going to go one at a time on down. Uh, this is going to be a fun rip. Uh, so probably a little bit of a longer rip today. Uh, if you are not able to get your hands on these at retail cost, you can expect to pay between sometimes you can find them as low as like 260 other times. Average price is around 280 on the secondary market for a full stack of 12. Uh, we're going to go quickly through the base. Uh, we've talked a lot about the base. Winner stays Shaq. That is going to be a team color purple. I will take that for sure. Also, Luca right there. Definitely off center. Air defense. There's only, I think, five cards in this air defense insert. So you don't typically see too much. Rookies are going to be Isaiah Stewart and Peyton Pritchard. I do like that you get two rookies uh, per cello pack. And then also, typically, in each uh, blue velocity pack, you also get a rookie. So three rookies out of 15 cards total. Pretty solid clip. Uh, let's see if I was right or I was wrong. Uh, kicking things off on our blue velocities, we do have Russ Westbrook. Or Westbrook, I think. Uh, who called him that on the... God, is it like Derek Fisher might have called him that? Goran Dragic, and yes, there is our first rookie blue velocity. That is going to be Saban Lee. I think the Pistons are having a rough go at it to start the season. I got to be honest, with all the sports going on right now, it's been a little hard for me to follow basketball other than the Lakers, who are a team that I pretty much adamantly follow LeBron. Uh, I've been trying to keep up uh, with my Thunder. You know, obviously a big Pokashevsky fan. Um... But other than that, yeah, I've, I've had a hard time. Uh, just too much sports going on right now. Really? Oh, I like where this one's going. Uh, Scary Terry. Let's go ahead and flip through these. Uh, whenever you see a Giannis, typically you see a Luca. Just uh, the collation that we've seen. Uh, I do see a purple here, and I do see a Hornet, and I do see a Lamella Ball. Let's go! A real man makes his own luck. Okay, okay. I was expecting to see Vernon Carey there, so... Um, pretty good centering, not so great set. I would say for optic, it's pretty good centering. Um, and that's, I think that's a, a compliment given some of the centering that we've seen. 
probably not PSA 10, but also not not horrible given we've seen some atrocious centering when it comes to optics. So I will take that. That is the non-numbered uh, purple retail parallel of LaMelo Ball. Looking pretty minty other than that centering. Uh, we've got an express lane of AI. Kawhi on the silver. Pat Williams and Jordan Wara are two rookies. Uh, this box already off to a good start. I don't know the comps offhand on that LaMelo, but I'm sure probably over $100. I'll probably just put it just put it right there. Just stop. Just put it right there. Put the total right there, Ron. Uh, Rudy Gobert. Uh, Lori Markinen and Skylar Mays is going to be our uh, blue velocity. I am a fan of the velocities. I think the blacks look the best, um, but the blues look cool. Uh, pinks are also in um, Hobby. You can hit pinks and blacks out of Hobby. I was just really stoked to be able to hit one of these boxes at a uh, at retail cost. And so far, so good. Uh, we'll keep it on rolling. Some more base come up on our purple right here purple is going to be tim hardaway jr uh we've got Shaq on the winner st stays ad on the t minus three rookies in this pack and i think one of them is probably going to be halliburton there we go sure enough i was like there is three king rookies in this set and there is no way we're hitting ramsey and woodard no way uh so hallie right there great great start and that one's actually pretty well centered. Maybe a little thick on bottom, but it's pretty well centered. Can't complain. See if maybe in addition to hunting out those oranges and pinks, maybe we can find ourselves a checkerboard. I don't think we have a rookie in here. Um, Yeah, no rookie in that pack. So rookies not guaranteed in the blue velocities. That was our third blue velocity. And uh, first two did have rookies. That one did not. Uh, my friend Shy City Pools ripped a full cello box, and I think he hit a checkerboard. And I think he said that he—I I know he's done some breaks, where, so he's ripped several of these. And I know for a fact that he said in just about every box he hit a checkerboard. So hopefully we can see one. Those are the super short print parallels. Uh, we've got an Allen Iverson Express Lane Purple. Uh, Trey Young on the My House. Luca on the Splash. And LaMelo on the base. Let's go. Let's go. Also, Tyler Bay and Devin Vassell. But our second LaMelo. So if uh, my calculations are correct, we just need to see a silver LaMelo, a blue velocity LaMelo, an orange LaMelo, a pink LaMelo, and a checkerboard. And we will have every possible LaMelo that we can get out of this box. One, two, three, four, five, one. Take up, take up, take up, take up, take up, take up, take up. Um, so there we go. Uh, again, centering just a little thick on bottom, but otherwise, for for optic, I can't complain because we have seen some horribly miscut cards. Let's see, uh, looks like no rookie in this one either. So we're gonna be two for four when it comes to rookies. Uh, Darius Garland, Aaron Gordon, and Spencer Dinwiddie. So no rookie, so two for four on those. I think uh, if you're going to rip optic cellos, go with a full box. Even if you have to buy on the secondary, uh, go with a full box. I think that um, just doing a full box gives you a little uh, little better odds at, you know, a blue velocity lamello. You're not just trying to do a one-off take a shot. So if you can afford it um, for about 250 a little bit more, I'd just go with a full box. Uh, Dame, Aaron Gordon, Chris Stapp's going to be on the purple. James Harden on the T-minus. Norman Powell going to be a hollow. We have not seen too many hollows. This might only be like our third hollow or so. Theo Maladon and Denny Adija going to be our rookies. Um, yeah, I think we've only seen one, two. That's our second out of five cello packs on the hollows. Um, so I did notice that those are not falling at an incredibly incredibly high clip you would think maybe one per but nope uh so we do have a rookie in here and the way that i can tell and i've pointed this out before but on the rookies over here on the side the color is a, sits a little higher than the the vets uh so we have chris middleton and jackson hayes 
Our rookie is going to be King Kong Okongwu. Oh. Again, always good to be hitting blue velocity rookies. Uh, we'll have to see that is our third one in the box. As we come up on our sixth cello pack, so we're already halfway in. This going a little bit faster than I expected. Kind of how it goes when you fly through base, right, Leighton? Uh, AD. D'Lo. I don't even think I see a parallel. Um, nope. You fooled me. Purple. Going to be Anthony Davis on the T-minus purple. We've got a My House of Kyrie. Um, yeah, no no houses for Kyrie, really. Uh, to see if he uh, ever gets to play this season. Kimball Walker. Jemias Ramsey. Sadiq Bey. And Malachi Flynn. Going to be our three rookies in that pack. Our sixth blue velocity, and we've got Miles Turner, Kimball Walker, and Theo Maladon. Hoping to hoping to get find a Poku soon. Have not, do not have a Poku blue velocity yet. I do have all of the other retail can or all the non-numbered retails. I don't have like the pink yet or the gold or anything like that. Uh, and gold would be insert only. So. Um, also, don't have a checkerboard, so I will be on the hunt for one of those sooner than later. Just so much stuff to buy, so much stuff to do in the hobby right now. And, uh, of course, buying my Zion one of one back. Uh, you guys saw the travel vlog last Friday. If you haven't, go check it out. Uh, got to see Mr. Hitman Rips over in Vegas. Got to get my Zion one of one back. So uh, that took a huge, huge sum of money. Uh, so that's kind of why I haven't been buying too many PC cards lately. I uh, like this one. My House Hollow Kyrie. Solid hit right there. Uh, we have the Jemias Ramsey. The Kawhi on the winner stays. There we go with our first Ant-Man of the box. Along with Cassius Stanley and RJ Hampton. There we go. So we've seen two Lamellos. We've seen an Ant-Man. Pretty good solo box so far. I cannot complain. I think we're inching our way towards money back if we're not already there. Uh, of course, anytime you hit LaMelo, that helps. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we just have an extra. Uh, so this is going to be the first half. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Yep. So this is going to be mark the halfway point of the box. And uh, we are going to have the king right on front right there. LeBron saw he's out for a few more days still with a... Uh, Abdominal strain, it sounds like. Rudy Gay and Eric Gordon. So I'm liking this cello box so far. Maybe we just got in a good collation run. Or maybe they're all like this. Um, you are going to see about 24, 25, somewhere around there, rookies. Because we are seeing two per pack. And you get 12 packs per box. Um, so pretty good chance that either an Ant or Lamello, if you're ripping a full one of these. I guess you could get unlucky and... Maybe have your rookie run, like, flip over or something like that and get duplicates. But I typically don't think that would be the case uh, when you're doing a full when you're doing a full box like this. Carmelo is going to be on the purple. Ben Wallace on the winner stays. Devin Booker. Tyrell Terry, Okongwu, and Saban Lee. Um, but, yeah, I'm still noticing just a lack of hollows. You see at least, at least one purple or one hollow per cello. But we're seeing far more purples than we are seeing um, hollows. Just something to note, you know. Cody Zeller, Lonnie Walker, and Tyrell Terry. I thought maybe that was going to be an Ant-Man given the colors on the side. But Tyrell Terry for the Mavs. Keep it on rolling. See who else we can find. Have not seen any checkerboards any oranges or any pinks yet so a little unlucky there maybe we can see at least one of those before this box is over got the goat Caruso goat Devin Booker Kelly Oubre Jr. and Rajon Rondo get into our my oh I like that one that one's going straight to the PC right there he has been tearing it up and we're gonna double dip because we also have a base my house jaw this is gonna be a my house purple so again, the big chase in cellos is going to be the pink and oranges of the inserts. Um, you know, I would imagine that a pink My House jaw would fetch a pretty penny. 
Last year, I was fortunate enough to hit a gold Tatum. I think I sold it for around $400. Um, my house, we have a Dame, Kenya Martin Jr., and Zeke Nagy. So that is the, the, the real draw of ripping. You know, obviously, if you just want to rip and get rookies and things like that, you can do that. Um, but for me, kind of just chasing checkerboards and oranges and pinks would be cool to see one. Christian Wood, Wendell Carter Jr., and Denny Adija. So I think that means we're how many how many blue velocity rookies have we seen so far? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're on a pretty good clip. Uh, so six, seven, eight, nine. So so far we've seen six out of nine blue velocities have had a rookie. Better than half the box. I'll take that. Uh, Rudy Gobert. Keep it on rolling. Try not to say the names of the base because we've seen these cards over and over and over. Ah, seen this one over and over and over too. Uh, Kemba Walker Splash Hollow. Uh, not the not the best name on the splash on the splash checklist. Um, but hey, I'll take a Splash Hollow. Pretty solid. Uh, Jason Williams Winter Stays Tim Duncan. There we go. There, there's the troll man right there, Mr. Vernon Carey Jr. Killian Hayes and Elijah Hughes. I was gonna say, are we gonna get really really lucky here and hit another Lamelo? But Nope, which means we have Riller and Nick Richards at some point, too. I, I would imagine those two are coming up, too, those two clowns. Uh, DiVincenzo, uh, Bogdanovic, and John Collins. Three, or we have uh, two left. Man, we are just flying through this box. want to thank you for joining me today. I'm not sure what other basketball I have coming up, but it is going to be a fun week. Um... No, probably Mosaic Quick Pitch. We might also do some NASCAR on the channel. Uh, let me know if you want to see NASCAR Prism later this week. No, 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 no. Uh, Cody Zeller, Lonnie Walker. Uh, coming up here, Jarrett Culver. Not a rookie, but it is the reigning MVP, Busevic. This one's interesting because we not only have a purple, we also have a hollow in here. Express Lane Luca, Hollow, hmm. rather have no Hollow. Uh, that is Kyle Kuzma. Uh, there's my dude Poku, and Azabuki. I'll take a Poku, going into my stash, hoping he turns into the next Giannis in the coming years. No checkerboards, no pinks, and no oranges yet. With only one pack to go, those are not going to be easy to hit. Um, but. Maxi right there, so that means 10 out of, or 7 out of 11 currently have had a, uh, have had a velocity. Alright, final, mm, let's do the velocity first, because we're really hoping that that one has a checkerboard or something special in it. So we'll do the velocity, and there we go, that's a good one, Zion, take that. Uh, excited to see what he does in a few weeks when he comes back. I hear all the criticism, but generational athlete. I, I really think he'll, uh, you know, maybe he won't start off in game shape, but by the end of the season, nothing to worry about with this guy, especially if he gets on a better team, nothing to worry about with that guy. All right, final, final pack here. Hopefully we can see something special. Otherwise we just got a, a dusty box as my friend Hitman would say, and yeah, other than a hollow rookie, I'm not seeing not seeing any checkerboards, not seeing any pink, so nothing special in this box. None of the chase uh, parallels that you would be looking for. Uh, our purple. Oh, okay, okay. Still, I'm not going to complain over a jaw purple. Uh, Kemble Walker. CJ Ellaby is going to be our only rookie hollow in the box. Skylar Mays and Tyrese Maxey. Let's go ahead. I want to do a little recap. Fun box. You know, no checkerboard, no pink, no orange. It just kind of goes like that sometimes. Uh, there are going to be a lot of these boxes. We've seen them drop a couple of times on Target.com. The first time they dropped, you could get up to three, I believe. Some, I might have even been up to five. Second time they dropped, it was a limit of one, and that's why I was able to get this one. Um, some stuff I penny sleeved up. The Zion was cool. Um, all of our blue velocity rookies, nothing too crazy on those. Um, no big names. Um, but 
some cool stuff that I top loaded and I have to think that we got close to our money back. If not, turned a little profit. My House Jaw Purple, LeBron Blue Velocity, Ant-Man Base, LaMelo Base, and I'm going to assume that this paid for at least half the box uh, with this LaMelo Purple. That is going to do it for me. I know we have a couple more configurations of Optic to go before we've done all of them. Uh, so be on the lookout for those in the coming days and coming weeks. That's going to do it for me. Take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on down the road.